let's look at these LCQ brackets. Tokido making it out in winners. I would I would probably favor Tokido. And losers, I would probably make the argument for Art could do it. I actually I think Art has a good character to beat a lot of these players. The only person I would actually be worried for Art playing would actually be Shax. So I think Art and Dalsum could beat a lot. I this match, the, the Shax versus Art match is basically gonna determine whether Art makes it out or not. But I would have to go for a safe bet, I would have to say Tokido and maybe Shax. Uh, yeah, I actually say Tokido and Shax. Right, bracket number two. You got Problem, Lakito, Giyu, Space Boy. I would have to. My issue is I don't know how much Problem knows a lot of these jank character matchups because Lakito plays Rose. I don't think there's too many Rose players in Europe. You got Rog, which is pretty sure you're familiar with, and Space Boy with Luke. This one, like, I feel like the people don't realize with bracket is like there's certain matchups that I just feel like are going to play the factor in the bracket. I think if Lakito wins here and he has to play problem, he might be able to get a problem with like a lot of the Rose mix ups because I think Rose is actually very good in this game right now. But I would have to say problem and unless Commander Jesse, but I don't think Commander Jesse's really been playing that much, but I would have to just say Probably just Space Boy for this side of the bracket. So I'll say Space Boy. So I'll say, I, I I don't want to say the top two seed every time. All right, bracket number three. Um, Gashi Kun, probably one of the favorites. Uh, Myers, got Kaba, No Respect. Uh, Brian F, I didn't even see Brian. Um, okay, I think, oh, Panoi can beat Kaba off the sheer mat. I, I think Kaba probably doesn't know how to fight Oro because I think a lot of people don't know how to fight Oro. So I will actually give Brian uh, favoritism in that. But I don't think Brian likes fighting Rashid. And I feel like Gachikun just has like a, a play style that just works versus every character with Rashid. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Brian, I'm gonna go Brian uh Gachikun on this one. But I think Gachikun will make it out in winners. I think Gachikun makes it out in winners, and I think Brian F makes it out in losers. Yeah, I think Brian got a lot of the, the stone tech on uh what you call it on lock i think the stones will actually be able to give kaba trouble uh where's four uh you got nemo shine marv filipino man dual kevin or tim shine eli the curry mercy it's kind of the same thing i think shine kind of has this side of the bracket under control i think shine could beat everyone on this side of the bracket i think the only person shine would have to be worried about playing on this side of the bracket would be nemo but i think Marv can beat Nemo. I think Filipino Man could beat Nemo. I think Dual Kevin could beat Nemo. So, you know, I actually think, I think the two people who make it out of this pool are going to be Shine and Winners. I like Shine and Winners and Dual Kevin and Losers. Shine, I, I feel like every time I watch Shine versus Yuri and I see it, it's a loss. No disrespect to Shine, but Shine, I feel like he always loses with Yuri. Uh, pool five. Right, yeah, Shito, Cuz Lightyear, Hachi's Legacy, Yon. Oh, Yon's going? Nah, I, I don't think Yon is going. Wolfgang, I think that's the Wolfgang I'm thinking of. Nephew, Blar Lad, I don't know. Uh, Yanub, Stupendous, and what you call it? A lot of Yurigan players. I think Nephew could beat Shudo. Yeah, I think Nephew could beat Shudo. I don't think it'll be easy. I think it's possible, though. I, I, I'll have to go. I'll have to go Shudo, Nephew. But I think, uh, I think Nephew could do it. Mm, all right, cool numbers. Cien Ryusei. Oh my god, six is stacked. What the hell? Ryusei, uh, Nigel, Wolfgang, Cien, Gamma, Reichmans, Bonnet, and Birkin. I think I'm gonna throw a wrench in everyone's side. The two people who make it out of this pool are going to be for pool six. I'm gonna go with I like Wolfgang and winners, and I like Ryusei and losers. I don't think Cien will make it out, to be honest. Uh, pool number seven: Itabashi, Sherry, uh, Danslip, uh, Ajax, like right on cue, Neon, Arliath, Broski. Oh, Broski. Oh, prototype. Okay, I think Broski makes it out of this pool pretty convincingly. The only problem I think Broski would have is playing against Prototype. He's going to have to like adapt really fast to Prototype because in a two out of three scenario, Alex is mad scary. But I like Broski to beat, I think, everyone else on this side of the bracket. 
So I'm gonna go with Broski and I'll go with Broski and Itazan. Oh, yo, Oro kind of cheap. I got two Oros making out of pool. Uh, all right, last pool. Kichi Pa Inc. Ultra David. They let the comment. They let the commentator play. Uh, JB Dr. African. Uh, Smuggle. All right. If I'm being completely honest, Dank should beat Kichi Pa. That's where I'm. That, this is where I'm coming from. Dank should beat Kichi Pa. But then if Dank gets here, I think JB just beats Dank or Dr. African beats uh Dank here. So I feel like they gave Dank the the golden matchup here. But then like here is just like two worst matchups. So I'm gonna go with JB in winner because I think either Joey or Smug will come out from this side, and I don't think both of them can fight Rashid very well. So I like JB and winners on this side. And uh losers? I would argue smug? I think this is probably the easiest of the, all the pools, to be honest. That that would be my top 16. Actually, not even a lot of Japanese players if you think about it. What you got? One, uh, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's five. But if I had to guess who is winning the entire tournament out of at least 16 people, uh, this is hard because here's my thing. I think Tokido's Luke is good. I don't think it's as scary as the Kuma was, but I think his his Luke's okay. But I definitely think Tokido plays better with Yurian and Akuma than he does with Luke. I don't really feel like he's a Luke player at heart, but he's just playing Luke because he's good. Uh, problem, I think he... I, I, am I the only one who feels like Problem might be rusty? Maybe he's playing like on the side, but I feel like I feel like Problem's just playing Call of Duty somewhere right now. As I'm speaking right now, I just feel like Problem's somewhere booted up Call of Duty. Probably on Warzone right now as we speak. Gachi Kun, I feel like Gachi Kun plays the same no matter what. Gachi Kun has like a uh uh Gachi Kun's always driving at like 90 miles per hour, and like that's kind of how he goes. But the 90 per miles per hour usually works. Uh, Shining Kevin. Shine, I, I mean, for me personally, I really want Shine to win. I feel like Shine, like, deserves it. Like, Shine's been playing good pretty much the entire season. Uh, Shuto, I don't know how good or bad Shuto is going to play. Honestly, Shuto is probably the wild card. I actually think Shuto is probably the more favorite to get out. Uh, to I think Shuto is probably the favorite to win LCQ right now. I would actually probably say he's Wolfgang and Ryusei. Uh, I know a lot of people probably don't know the Blanca matchup, but I think when you start getting to like the, the top eights in the, yeah, when you start getting to like the top eights in like the lower half of the brackets, you know, people are going to actually like start, you know, figuring stuff out kind of thing and adapting. So it's kind of scary. Ryusei, yeah, still kind of shaky. Broski, I, I expect a lot of people to get got by the stones, but I don't think Oro is a good enough character to win the entire tournament. Itazan is rough playing Geef and Abigail. Uh, JB could... JB could win, I think, with his uh, aggressive play style. I feel like adapting to JB in like two out of three, and like three out of five sets really fast is kind of hard. And then, you know, you got smoke. He does not play more G these days. Yeah, this G is still kind of like, it's hard to play G in like a tournament, I feel like. I don't think the winner gets anything besides the last spot in Capcom Cup, to be honest. I just think you get, you know, a pat on the back. Here, go play in Capcom Cup. As far as the actual Capcom Cup goes, I saw that they put up like a uh, how the the brackets gonna work kind of thing. So they have the way that the the top sixteen would go for a Capcom Cup. Well, like the pools, you know, groups, all the group setup, and then how the bracket would go. Honestly, I mean, projected, it looks like I have a good path. But I don't think a lot of the projection would happen. So group eight, it would be H group. So I, I would predict if I can make it out of my pool in winter and then I had to play group H, it would be either Bugera or Mena if I can make it out of my pool in winters. So I don't really mind playing Mena or Bugera. So I think I would like it here. I would like to play either or either of them here. And I think the only other people in H is Samurai, Jimmy, and... Who's the last one? It was Samurai Jimmy and that doesn't matter. But I think Pugera or Meta would probably be here. And then I would assume NL and uh NL and um Ending Walker would be here. So then I guess I would just hopefully have to play Ending Walker here, which you know, I actually I wanna play Ending Walker. I wanna see what all the Ed hype is about. 
Oh, the projection, I just, I don't know. I think it was just whoever was picked first in the bracket. I don't really think the projection has anything to do with it. I just leave it here so I can have a good understanding. But yeah, I think here would probably be ending Walker because, you know, he's kind of cooking, unless he just has a bad tournament. And then in winner's finals, that could be anyone. But I, I, I actually like my path, to be completely honest. I like the way my, my path is set up. So I, I definitely think it's doable to, you know, win twice Just assuming i get on my group and winners uh yeah i mean like i said my group i don't really dislike I, I i really like my uh what you call it i really like my group as a whole the only person in my group that like it's weird because it's two out of three if it was three out of five i would be much more comfortable but besides uh actually no i don't really mind playing anyone in my group